And yes, I do have the link to the instant platform landing stage from Ryukred. I downloaded it like 10 minutes ago. And I'm going to be practicing that in Footstool Falcon Kick as soon as this first attempt is over. None of the top Falcons were really pushing it that much. Myself included, and I should have been for longer, honestly. But now that Falcon and Kick is stronger, and just better overall, there's... Even if we somehow miss the Footstool, because of Falcon Kick being faster, it'll still hit decently often. So because of that, I'd be willing to bet that... It's just much more worth learning now. And so no time like the present to develop it. Especially since, hypothetically, if it's done perfectly, then uh, you'll be able to... Oh, there he is. You'll be able to have, like, not frame 3, but maybe like a frame 6 or less out of shield punish as Falcon, which is amazing. This is just really simple stuff. There we go. See, that's what we're looking for. Think about it conceptually. So, up you out of shield is our fastest out of shield option besides shield grab. And you know how fast it is? Frame 14. I mean, obviously for the options Falcons up you can punish, it's great. But that's slow, so there's a lot that it just flat out can't. And you know how many frames it takes to jump out of shield? Three. Let's assume it takes another three at most to get in the right position. That's basically a frame six out of, out of shield. Frame six out of shield option. Yeah, our up B is four frame 14. So like obviously for the things it can cover, it's great. There's just a lot it flat out can't. Therefore, it's especially meaningful for Falcon to try and mess around with this. Especially since, think about it, like suppose I miss the footstool, I still have a fast Falcon kick that lands like that, and that's still a decent mix-up. Whereas if I do land it, Falcon effectively gains a more than twice as fast outer shield option against a lot of characters. Wow, this seems hard. Ah. So these, I'm just gonna have one Falcon with the Joy-Cons, but I mean, I'm not actually gonna do anything with it. I just want a CPU that is, well, basically a CPU that won't mess with me while I practice this. Oh, baby. That is a flex. If you jump on exactly frame 6 of uh, Falcon's double jump... So, fun fact, when he does his double jump... See that little animation where he does a flip from the front? His feet briefly go ever so slightly lower than his current hurt box. So, you literally just double jump, but it has to be on the exact right frame. And you can only do it on various platforms that are at the perfect height. So that when you're at exactly frame 6 of your jump... You're about to do that. And for some reason, it's only been found with two characters. Well, technically three. Simon slash Richter Belmont and Falcon. As far as we know, no one else can do it. It's pretty neat though. Although it's literally frame perfect, so it's not exactly, you know, it's gonna be something you see too often, but I think it's worth practicing. So you have to be in just the right position on frame six and double jump. Yoink! I got it. So like, regular old town and city, you can... Well, look, look at that. Can you imagine Tomahawk grabbing off of like that? That looks so clean. Three in a row! But like, if I can get three in a row, after practicing for like, less than 30 minutes, give me time and I will start doing shenanigans in bracket. 
I'm gonna like do platform pressure where I like talk where I do melee style uh, grabs on people and things like that give me time I will I'm gonna do this consistently in bracket this is vastly better Christian cream wave landing you like do a little uh, where you like sink into the platform and then you can't act for like what is it like 15 frames or something that you can act instantly Dude, that's probably less laggy than melee wave landing with how quickly you can act. Like, it's not even close. This is just so vastly better, but obviously you had to make sure you can do it in the right places. And you had to be consistent to where when you go for it on purpose, you will get it. And you'll be consistent enough to justify going for it, you know? Bro, look at this lag for wave landing. That's like at least 12 frames faster. The two are not comparable in the slightest. It also is worth noting that... This is my first day of messing with this at all. I will become more consistent with time. I don't know how practical it'll be on other stages, but I think it's practical on Town and City, at least. That's like comparing... A Lunchables pizza. To like something made by the finest chef in Italy. I got, I think, four in a row. Well, I look at that. Why would you not want to practice Falcon Kick out of... Footstool Falcon Kick like as an out of shield option. It's so strong. The only thing is I'm cheeks at it right now. Hey! You can do it while it's moving. I have confirmed. Ah, I wanted to do it while it's coming in. Um. On Town and City, I want to say like 40 to 50%. Which for day one, that's not bad. When I first started teaching myself attack cancel aerials, my success percentage was around that or lower. I see no reason over time I can't be like at least 80%. Oh, and you can't do it while moving backwards because of the way it changes the animation. Like, you can't jump backwards while doing it. You can jump forwards and do it, but not backwards. If I can get five in a row, you'll get five subs. I did it! Five in a row! Get those subs. So, next time I do sub battles, I'm probably gonna try and do footstool, falcon kick, out of shield. Like, every single time anyone gets even anywhere close to me. Like, I'm gonna just constantly force it and probably fail spectacularly a lot. But at the same time... That's the best way I practiced a lot of things, actually. Until eventually, it becomes natural enough to where I don't have to force it and then it's just part of my repertoire. Just give me time, I will master this. Combate suspendido. This is just step one of the journey. First try, baby! But look at that! That is so clean! Right now, I'm starting to think that, uh... This will be really practical on town and city. And probably not super practical anywhere else. At least not right now. But there might be some setups for it that I haven't seen yet. It's probably pretty practical on Battlefield too, if going from the side platforms to the top. And considering neither Town or Battlefield were really our best stages before, like our best stages that are generally legal are Yoshi's Story and Kalos. So since a lot of people are going to be banning those against us, it'll be nice to, you know, take them to like Town or whatever. Those of you who play characters that aren't Falcon slash Belmonts 
Lab away, guys. If you, if you can find it, let's advance the meta together. You fought a Belmont on Elite Smash that was doing this really consistently and you were shook? See, that's what I want to do with Falcon. Look, if some ran, if some Belmont on Elite Smash can do it with lag, then I can do it with Falcon offline. No excuses. So far I found that Falcon can do it from the side platforms to the top on Battlefield. You can do it on Yoshi's story. Not from the side to the top, but from part of the slant on the ground to the platform. You can do it on Lilat, also for the side platforms, but not the center one. Smashville seems impossible. Um, Unova seems impossible. Kalos seems impossible. You can actually do it pretty consistently on the uh, low platform on Hazards Off Town and City during the first phase. Um, that's what I know so far. Literally frame perfect. But at the same time, it's such a base maneuver that I see little reason this can't become muscle memory over time. There are so many competitive games where there are things along those lines that are basically frame perfect. Like, there's tons of stuff in Melee that's basically frame perfect, and you know what? Top players get it super consistently. But yeah, the uh, Footstool Falcon Kick stuff is something I'm probably going to be mashing the hell out of during sub battles this Tuesday. Either way, you guys have a good night and uh, show some love for the buzz.